In this video, we're going to tell you about CFR levels. As a volunteer at Engine, you may have heard of the common European framework of reference for languages. But what is it and why do we need it? In fact, it's pretty simple. CFR is an international standard for describing language ability on a six-point scale from A1 for beginners to C2 for those who have mastered the language. This makes it easy for anyone involved in language teaching and learning to see the level of different qualifications. The CFR describes what learners can do across five language skills. Spoken interaction, spoken production, listening, reading, and writing. For all five skills, at each level, there are sets of detailed can-do statements. The following guide should give you some idea of what a typical learner at a given level should be able to do and know. This will help you to set clear expectations of your body's production activities, make relevant corrections, and adapt the materials. An A1, A2 level of English, which corresponds to the engine beginner curriculum, would be sufficient for very simple interactions, for example, as a tourist in an English-speaking country. This level would not be sufficient for other academic or professional purposes. According to the official CFR guidelines, Someone at the basic level in English should be able to do or know the following. Give and ask for personal information, use familiar everyday expressions and basic phrases. Communicate in simple terms about everyday activities. Make suggestions, requests, express hopes and intentions. Give advice. In terms of vocabulary, be able to talk about jobs, family, occupations, traveling, everyday activities, eating out, health and medicine, nature, gadgets, etc. Listen and understand simple, natural speech and conversation. Generally speaking, uh, this person needs to be able to interact in a simple way, provided that the other person talks slowly and clearly and is prepared to help. Grammar points to be properly used by beginner students include pronouns, plurals, the verb to be, adjectives and adverbs, comparative and superlative adjectives, A and articles, present simple and present continuous tenses, future with will, to be going to, past simple, regular and basic irregular verbs, present perfect tense, modal verbs, like can, can't, must, mustn't, zero and first conditionals, gerund and infinitive basics. Moving forward to B1, B2 levels. A student at the intermediate level in English will be able to do all the things that a student in levels A1, A2 can do, but in addition, they will be able to talk about more abstract items, participate in discussions and be able to interrupt politely and take turns in communicating, express opinions, agree or disagree, give a logical argument to support a view, converse with relative ease in everyday social situations. Actively use idioms and set phrases and collocations. Use formal and informal English in appropriate cases. Generally, they will be able to interact with a degree of fluency and spontaneity that makes a regular interaction with users of the target language quite possible without imposing strain on either party. An intermediate learner needs to know and be able to use the following grammar aspects. Present, past, and future tenses, conditionals, models such as can, could, should, must, might, may, etc. Models of deduction and speculation, passives, phrasal verbs, relative clauses, reported speech, will and be going to for prediction, wish, would for expressing habits in the past. A C1, C2 level of English allows for a full range of functionality at work or in academic setting. They would allow for full autonomy in a native English-speaking country. According to the official CFR guidelines, someone at the advanced level in English uses all the main structures and tenses in English accurately, argues an opinion with confidence, varies stress and intonation to affect the meaning, produces language spontaneously, fluently, and precisely, while also being able to differentiate the nuances of being of various expressions. Finally, 
uses English in a variety of ways, in a variety of settings, from social settings to professional and academic ones. What grammar can an advanced learner of English use? Inversion with negative adverbals, mixed conditionals in past, present, and future, models in the past, narrative tenses for experience, passive forms, phrasal verbs, wish, if only for regrets. Now we have covered all the levels, but it's crucial to bear in mind that labels to describe levels of learners are very broad and may be subjective. It's really important to remember that such labels are more guides to the general and approximate levels of students since they may be better at one aspect of language than another. 